If you clicked on this video, it's because you want to know why Garamis are special and why you want to get one and what you have to do to take care of them. I got your back. Just look at all of these great options for Garamis. Look at them, all the colors, the patterns, the different sizes, dwarf Garamis, pearl Garamis, all types of them. They're just beautiful. Look at all of these. Garamis are some of the coolest and most interesting fish. And I got a lot of information on them and why you should get one. So you're probably wondering why you're looking at an empty tank. Well, see, Garamis need they need roughly 30 gallons of water in a fish tank to be happy and peaceful. This is 29 gallons, uh, a gallon underneath, but a garami would be happy in here. See, garamis are very cool. They have great colors, great personalities, different moods. They got these cool little things that just hang underneath their stomach. What's even better, they're air breathers. They breathe oxygen. So you want to make sure that your water perimeters have a lot of movement so that your mouth breathers can breathe and do bubble nests. Yes, I said it. Bubble nests. Garamis make nests out of bubbles to breathe. The male usually blows the bubbles for the female to put her eggs in. Males are usually larger and different colors and fancier fins. But that doesn't mean that the females are worse looking. Not at all. See, Garamis is a fish from Asia. They come from many different parts of China, uh, Korea, Japan. They live in many different bodies of water. They are slow moving fish. So you don't want too much movement in your tank. Garamis, they like a pH between 6.8 a 7.8 aqua line between 3 and 8 about the uh, DKH 50 ppm to about roughly 40 ppm water temperature is about 75 to 80 Fahrenheit you know they're very cool fish 10% to about 25% of the water changing their water about they say once or twice a month, but you know, that's not correct. It depends on your water perimeters, like pH levels, ammonia levels, and nitrates and nitrites. See, I said most garamis need about 30 gallons. Well, let me explain why. The Kisigarami, one of the largest ones, needs roughly about 55 gallons, and even that's not enough. Some of the garamis only grow to about roughly two to three inches, where most of them grow anywhere from five to six inches. Keep a lid over your tank. Yes, garamis tend to jump out every once in a while. So you want to make sure you have a lid on the tank. Garamis can be a little aggressive, malaggressive. So getting fish that can handle their spunk and get along with them. That's anything from guppies, uh, yeah, guppies, certain tetras who won't nip their fins, um, neon tetras, most tetras are fine, some barbs, fish like that, quarry cats and so on and so forth. What do garamis eat? Well, garamis, they're not picky eaters. They'll eat frozen foods like bloodworms and brine shrimps, flakes, pebbles. You should want to feed them at least once a day and enough food that they can eat under two minutes. What else do you need to know about a garami? Well, right here, we have a pearl garami. Very calm, very friendly, get along with a very big amount of fish. Where the gold garami, is a little bit more aggressive. You get just a little bit bigger than the pearl, but they're just as beautiful, just as calm. These fish are awesome. They come with many different patterns. They just are calm, collected, slow moving, great fish. Garamis will interact with you 
if they notice that you're paying them attention using their nice little I forget what those are called give me a second it'll come to me shortly we're just gonna say whiskers because I can't remember the name of them but they will touch you with those because Garamis have a rough time at seeing in the dark so they actually use those to fill around for food other fish and things that might be moving around them that they can't see and this is some of the aggression that I'm talking about a lot of it is just mouth play or just showing who's bigger and better now you're wondering why this tank is so cloudy well they just fed they got some blood worms and some flakes not all of the fish in this tank like my plecos can get to the blood worms before some of my other fish can now what makes Garamis even better you're seeing it right here that's a beta not many fish can live with betas seeing that betas are from most parts of Asia they actually run into Garamis in the wild on a daily basis so they can get along you can house a few Garamis with betas or a few betas with garamis. Now, just because it works for me doesn't mean it'll work for you. You have to balance it and figure out what works for your fish tank. That's about it. Garamis are awesome fish. You should get yourself one. They're easy to take care of. Take care of. They're not hard at all, and they're just very beautiful.